Good morning, YouTube. It is May 19th. Steph and I are headed out on vacation to go to June Lake in Mammoth. And we're taking the Bronco. Woo. Let's go. Steph and I live way up a dirt road, so the Bronco is almost always dirty. But since we're leaving town for six days, we're leaving the dirt road, and Steph could not wait to wash this thing off because she never gets to see the Bronco clean. So, first stop on our trip, car wash. Next stop, Rockstar Garage. I gotta get my laptop, Steph wants an energy drink, and um, she wants to see the project in the shop because she hasn't seen it since the last time that she was up there working on it. Stop number two for the day complete. Rockstar Garage is in Marietta. It's right off the 15. And every single time we're passing this place, we have to stop in and use the bathroom. It's like the perfect spot. Really convenient. Yeah. Um, and I got my laptop, which I needed. And we got some drinks for the road. So now we just have a quick six hour drive and we are on vacation. Easy peasy. We just pulled over off the 395. This was a nice, uh, <laughs> she's trying to take pictures of the Bronco. <laughs> this was like a really good spot to get off the main road so that um, I could go pee in the dirt because uh, I got a tiny bladder. And when you drink those Rockstar energy drinks, it just like, I think the caffeine just makes you have to pee within like a couple hours. I couldn't hold it anymore. Jared, this has a really small we're 38 minutes from Ridgecrest, and I saw a place that sells cheeseburgers up there, so we're going to stop again here soon, but I just couldn't make it. But anyways, great place to stop if you're ever on the 395. All right, back to driving. So we made it to Mammoth. Steph is grocery shopping. I was supposed to be in there with her. We're at Vaughn's. Um, but all I had this morning was coffee and then we stopped at Rockstar and I had an energy drink. Then we stopped for fast food and I had a double cheeseburger and a large soda and a large fry. And I spent five hours either looking at my phone or my laptop the whole way up here. And so I'm really nauseous, but I can't tell if I'm just car sick or if I just treated my body like crap or maybe both. But I got out of the Bronco to go grocery shopping and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. So I'm just taking it easy and drinking water. As soon as she gets out of Vons, um, we're going straight to our campsite. The trailer's already been delivered. Everything is ready to rock and roll. And we're gonna be in June Lake for six days. We are very excited about it. So um, next stop campsite, once we have groceries and I stop feeling like I'm gonna vomit everywhere. We're almost there. Once we got checked into our campsite in Mammoth, we turned our cameras off and spent some quality time with family before we turned the cameras back on near the end of the trip. Okay. 
So we've been up here in the June Lake area for five whole days now. In that time, we have, what have we done, Steph? Uh, the ghost town. We went to Bodie Ghost Town, which was amazing. I do real estate inspection for a living, so it was really fun to climb through all those old houses. Uh, we went to the hot springs, but it was really cold and windy, so um, we, we didn't we didn't actually get in the hot spring. We just kind of watched other people sit in the hot spring. And the hot spring was like just slightly smaller than your average jacuzzi, and there were a lot of people in it. So it's kind of like a, you know, not chemically treated man soup. So we just... The water ratio. Was yeah, the peat water ratio was off, so we decided to not go in. And then what else did we do? Um, we went out to Mono Lake we and we saw the tufas. I kept calling them fupas. Um, big like calcium deposits, like stalagmites that stick out of the water. And did a bunch of Googling while we were driving around to learn about the lake. And then we went and saw the old wood mill up there. Now we're kayaking in a silver lake. We're kayaking in Silver Lake at the moment. And I can't remember anything else that we did. Oh, we went out looking for wild horses. And we didn't, we only saw a couple. They were really far away. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, we're gonna keep kayaking here. the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. We turned around. This is the easy part because we just get to float now. We just have nice. to try and not crash stuff into the bushes. We hit one bush and a bunch of spiders fell on her, so. It's great. <laughs> now I feel creepy crawling. It's great. Thanks for that. Yeah, this is a long trip though. It was a couple miles to get up to the top of the stream. Thank God it's over. <laughs> Downstream we go. Yeah. What you doing? Washing all the dead bugs off my window. Like you see. Actually, Jarrett washed all the dead bugs off his window. I'm just kidding. Beautiful. Crystal clear. So here's a part of the trip that actually has something to do with Crawl TV. <laughs> um, we're in the Bronco now and we are exploring outside of Mammoth. So I have the whole map of Mammoth in the passenger seat. We are on Obsidian Dome Road and we are farting around. Just um, emphasis on fart. Emphasis on the fart. And just taking the Bronco out and exploring a little bit in the mountains and the trees. And if you hear that rattling back there, that is the spare tire. The Bronco spare tire is mounted on the rear door, similar to how a Jeep spare tire is mounted on the rear door from the factory. Um, aftermarket really hasn't caught up yet with the Bronco, so there's no aftermarket tire swing available. And um, well, this is what we live with right now. It's just, just loud. So anyways, off into the woods we go. So we just reached 2S11C, 2S11F, and we are currently on 2S11. I finally found where we are on the map, which is right here, 2S11. I think we came in on this light blue and then merged into 2S11, which is technically a... Um, if you stay on this trail, this dotted line, I think this is the trail that goes all the way to Mammoth. So it's a June Lake to Mammoth trail. And we're kind of in the middle of it right now because we came out of June Lake, down the road, jumped into it. So we're kind of on a main road and we want to explore some of the offshoots and stuff, but we have an F-350 following us right now. So we're kind of limited to like big roads at the moment. And then as soon as we break off from them, 
we might wind into some of the harder stuff here. While Steph is getting a picture of her Bronco with this just gorgeous landscape out here, I'm grabbing a rock for my mom. Um, she's like an avid rock collector. And right now we are outside of Obsidian Dome, which means that there is obsidian everywhere. And if you don't know what that is, it's the really shiny black rock that they use uh, to make arrowheads and stuff. So I'm gonna try and find a small piece that I can grab, like this here. Something very small where I'm not leaving any mark on nature here, but taking a little bit with me as a memento. Cool. <laughs> How are you liking it so far? Great. Yeah? Yeah. We're having fun? Yeah, great weather. And we got some great rocks. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see where else this takes us. Oh boy. So we've done our, I guess, fair share of like mild off-roading in the Bronco. Um, we took this through, what was that? Gold Mountain yeah. in Big Bear. We're up in Mammoth now. I think one of the things that Steph struggles with the most right now is being short. You can't see over the hood. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just um, stretching her neck the whole time, trying to, trying to get this view, because all she can see is this. <laughs> yeah. Hey Steph, yeah. these trees, yeah. that's how I want you and me to be. So we have just run into an intersection where this will take us back on the Hartley Loop, back toward where we're camping in June Lake. This is the June Lake to Mammoth Trail. And we just talked to the truck behind us, looked at the map. We are currently here, 2S11. Right would go zigzag all the way back to like Glass Creek Main Road. Or if you keep following it, it eventually leads you all the way to Mammoth Loop. Um, we decided we're gonna take a left. We're gonna go continue the Hartley Loop 2S107 run back into the main road over here see how we feel if we want to get back on the main highway and go back to camp we can do that or we can just jump back on the trail and keep working our way up because it keeps running into main roads so here we go we are going left So this ends our trip, you guys. Uh, as you can see, we've switched vehicles. We are now in the race Prius. And um, Steph and I are on our way from home back up the road an hour to the shop in Marietta. We got home from our trip last night. Neither of us have even showered yet. All we got to do is water our garden and drop our bags. And um, vacation's over. <laughs> we've got a car to build, so we are right back into it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that was just kind of a fun trip. We didn't really have a video planned for it. So um, we'll see how the footage comes together. If you're watching it at this point, you already know. But um, it was a great getaway, a good vacation. And um, it's back to the real world now. So we will see you guys in the next video where we share a little bit more about this bug project that we're working on right now. See ya. Ha ha ha!